What's going on guys? Uh, in this tutorial, it's going to be pretty quick. We're going to learn about prefabs and actually creating some more bricks very simply and uh, very, it's going to be versatile. Anytime you want to work with games, you need to be versatile programming. You want to be, you know, be able to fluctuate quite simply. And prefabs are going to help us do that. It's going to be incredible and it's pretty simple here. So, so let's grab our brick object and move it over into a position that we want. Looks like my scene views backwards here so that looks pretty good and let's actually go into our hierarchy and since we have this prefab folder you kinda wanna stay organized as well you guys might wanna create that folder if you didn't when we did a while back but all we're gonna do is grab this brick object move it into our prefabs and we have a prefabricated object it's built for us already since we know this works now what we can do is duplicate our brick object in the game view over here and you can see that the the color of the text is blue that means it's a prefab and I'll show you the incredible power of prefabs here in a second but let's move some of our bricks around uh, just so it kinda looks a little bit better alright so the spacing isn't that great but it looks decent enough so let's grab all of our brick objects and duplicate that move it down uh, duplicate it again move that down so now we have a basic brick breaker game. Um, pretty cool, right? Um, and we're getting there. But let's say we wanted to, you know, change the size of these bricks because right now it's not looking that great, and we want to change the size. Now what we could do is grab one brick object and you know hit R and scale it up to the size that we want, and we're like, oh man, now we have to do that to all these other objects. Well, since we've created a prefab, if you go over to the inspector, we have some additional information since this is a prefabricated object. What we can do is we can apply this prefab that we just made, this adjustment on the specific brick, to all other brick prefabs within our scene. So what I mean is hit apply and look at that. All of our bricks have changed to the size that we want. We can also just select our prefab here and maybe uh, scale it a little bit um, and see how it works for all of our game objects but if you just want to make adjustment to one brick you obviously have the ability to do that as well so that's pretty cool and that's what prefabs will do um, makes it very simple on you you just have the supply method and we have a better brick breaker game all of our bricks work let's test out our game make sure we don't have any errors and it looks like our scoring system is working and uh, we're getting there getting there slowly guys but uh, we are getting there and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Just want to talk about the prefabs because it's obviously a very useful tool when you're developing games like Brick Breakers. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll catch you in the next one.